all right guys before we hop in today's video there is a brand new locker code that did just drop it's going to be on the screen for you guys obviously you know to help you guys out punch the code and feel free to pause the video but it, apparently it is for a this day in history like pack or a uh, throwback thursday pack like a okay so you're actually guaranteed to get one or the other one i don't really care which one i get because the thing is like either way i'm gonna get like the worst one you know what i'm saying like if i get like if i get a throwback thursday one i'm gonna get an amethyst um and it is looking like i'm gonna get a throwback elite so i'm gonna get an amethyst that probably goes for a solid 2k mt um which is pretty cool and if we pull a diamond it's probably gonna be the worst possible diamond we can get so we're gonna scroll right over here and open this pack and it's going to be a yeah like i said it's gonna be an amethyst like i said it would have been cool to see a pink diamond maybe would have been cool from the nuggets a center Dikembe, yep, it's gonna be Dikembe Mutombo, so pretty cool, I guess, you know, a random throwback elite, um, yeah, alright guys, today I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to improve your offense, um, you guys honestly, I seriously can't even begin to say thank you for the amount of support on the first one that we did, like, it was crazy, like, I think it had, like, over 600 likes the last time I checked, I don't know, I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen, um, of, like, how many likes you guys got in that video it was crazy i asked for 100 and you guys absolutely smashed that goal so let's try to hit 100 likes on part two um i read a lot of your guys' comments and a lot of you guys were saying like great video you know and then a couple of you guys were asking me to like um touch up on some different topics about how to improve like what maybe what like the freelance like you know what to do if like that original play doesn't work um what to do with like picking rolls picking fades don't work stuff like that so um and a few guys actually asked me to give you guys a little bit of an in-depth in-depth breakdown of um like the plays that I run and why I run them. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to go over the lineup as much because that's what we did in the last video. So if you guys are interested in that one, um, I'll put the link to the last episode in like the description down below. But yeah, my team obviously is like, it's kind of the same thing. I'll just give like a short little thing. Both my point guards are tall. Magic has Hall of Fame Dimer. Um, Brandon Roy has Gold Dimer. Dimer is very crucial on your point guards. Um, my wing players are very good defenders and very good shooters. Vince Carter, Scottie Pippen. Off the bench, we got Karolinko, Dr. J. Obviously, you guys know that. Both my backup fours are both stretch bigs. Um, Wes Unseld is a little new. Um, well, he obviously is new. He wasn't in the like he wasn't even out the last time. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use him though. That's gonna be a part of this that I think you guys are gonna really be interested in. It's definitely really nice of a postcard as well. Um, and then the backup centers or my centers is gonna be Hakeem and then we have Greg Oden This Greg Oden is eventually gonna get moved to like the three like the third string and I'm actually gonna put D Rob here um, I just haven't actually had time to pick him up yet. Um, I guess I could now but it's really it's not gonna make a difference um, So I'm gonna hop into an online game and show you guys like, you know a little bit about my offense and stuff like that real quick I do use the Warriors playbook the Warriors playbook is like by far my favorite um the other ones that you guys can use is the Rockets one. The Lakers one is really good. The Bucks one is really good if you're more of an ISO player. Um, it has a lot of five out plays in it. And then the Magic and Mavericks playbooks are really good as well. But today we are going to be using the Warrior one. Um, my coach is going to be Greg Popovich. You can use Steve Kerr. Um, I would use Dwayne Casey. It does help your offense, but my offense really doesn't need it. I just really like Greg Popovich. Like it just kind of... I don't know. I know he really doesn't help that much, but he, I, like, honestly, having him as a coach, my players jump a lot more passing lanes, so that's just why I use him. So, uh, yeah, enough yapping. Let's hop into the gameplay. All right, so a little pregame tip. Just do these matchups real quick. I honestly, ever since I started doing this, it really improved my defense. Like, I know this is an offensive tip video, but I'm still going to show you guys what I do before the games. I always do this. I always come to game plan and go to defensive settings and instantly go tight, tight, and for on ball, I do go with go over. And then you always want to turn adaptive coaching engine off. I'm telling you, just about the worst thing you can do. So hopping into this game, what I you can either do one of two things. You can either win the tip or lose it. Obviously, like and I'm talking about on purpose. So all right. Instantly, what you do want to do though is get back with your center. That's the first thing. Um, I'm not really gonna show you guys, you know, too too many like defensive tips in this video. Um, just because like obviously like that's not this type of video if you guys do need help defensively I have uh, a lot of videos about that look at that perfect defense right there from magic So I could run the break right here and probably get an easy bucket But the first thing I'm gonna do set this to a warriors freelance that helps out so much now When you come across if you stand right here at the top of this key your players will set up sort of like a five out situation And your players will come up and get these wide open threes and that's what I talked about in the last video It's a very good freelance play to run because it does actually help you um, get some easy threes so if you guys want to know how to stop the trail cheese, 
um, when it comes to uh, like Ray Allen, say, getting wide open for that three or something right there. Um, you just set it to a half court press, and that's very easy. So the number one thing I can say on offense is always get the ball to your point guard. Anybody that has Hall of Fame Dimer, you want to give the ball to. So like right here, we could have pulled that three right here. But like if you just set up freelances, they will run automatically and just do what they have to do. I believe they're going to set it back up here, and Vince Carter can get open for another three. And if you just let these freelance plays run, they actually really work. Like that's a good rebound right there, kicking it right back out for another three. Going to miss that, unfortunately. I don't know how we missed back-to-back -back threes like that. But, yeah, you guys can see, like, honestly, having patience on offense is very key. Like, I had perfect patience right there. I saw the clock running down. Obviously, I had maybe, what, two seconds, I think, when Vince Carter caught that ball. So, if he fought over that screen, like, yeah, I was going to take a bad shot. But I, I just kind of relied on my offense. So, he's going to front magic a little bit. Very understandable. You know, I'm running through my point guard. So, again, I'm just going to set up this freelance play again. And what I like about this is if it doesn't always work, like, say this three doesn't work. And, ah, I screwed up the icon. That's on me. But, like, you see, like, we had West Unsell on a perfect backdoor cut. And if you need to slow the game down, going into the post is very key. This is why I talk about Hakeem being one of the best centers in this game. Because his post game actually bails me out a lot in games. When Hakeem runs down and, like, I mean, when the, clock, the shot clock runs down and I have, like, five seconds left to score. If I post up with Hakeem, that post fade is there almost all game. So, it's very nice, very crucial. I'm going to fight over the screen real quick. Um, I, I think this kid needs to watch my video because I don't think his offense is very good. He's going to run right into Hakeem. Perfect defense right there. Good rebounds by Magic. Again, that's why I do like Magic. So, say I don't want to run this freelance. And I'm taking a look at these plays. Fist 21 delay. One of my favorite plays you can run because they actually, there's it's kind of like a, uh, what's that thing in football? A play action. They actually adapt to what the defense does. So right there, you see how Vince Carter cut to the paint. Vince Carter actually could have went around that screen and actually been open for a three. But with that play, they actually change it up a lot. So you kind of have to protect dribble when you're dribbling with your point guard. And while you're protect dribbling, watch what that's, watch like what the person's doing that you're running the play for. They will either cut to the paint and most of the time get a wide open dunk or they will get a wide open three. So that play really does help. It's definitely a very nice um, play to run. I'm going to run it again and watch. Vince Carter might actually switch up and come for a three this time, which he's actually going to do. I don't know why he went to the half court line, but... And you see, like, there's, like, another, like, little play thing that um, what actually happens is Hakeem runs around that screen and tries to get open as well. This video, I'm probably, I'm not going to lose this game. Like, I'll make sure I still win. But I'm going to probably let him come back a little bit just because, like, I'm trying to talk to you guys and not really focus on what I'm doing. So, running a freelance play is very nice. I do like the fact that he is on balling, which is something new, um, obviously. But, again, I'm going to go right back into the post here. I think that's something that we can easily take advantage of. Wes Unseld on Stoudemire. I honestly just slow the game down, go into the post, and post fades are very easy in this game. I'm telling you, if you guys struggle with hitting threes, go into the post. All right, so I'm going to show you guys some more plays you guys can run. I talked about this one in the last episode as well. Quick 21 is one of my favorite plays to run. Um, if you just kind of drive in like this, it'll actually suck in the shooting guard. Like, you see how Harden, like, ran in on his team to try to contest that? Even if people have defensive settings on, I've noticed, they still do that. So, a lot of the times, if you just kind of can cut in and get that easy, like, three-pointer or easy lane to the hoop, you will get a wide-open shot off of that uh, play. So, that's definitely another good play to run here. I'll show it you guys again. Um, I'm going to show you guys, like, these plays a couple times each because I can't show you a play once and be like, oh, look, it works. Because sometimes you're going to have to learn how to adapt if it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to run this quick 21 again. Vince Carter is going to be coming around the screen. And when you run plays, people get very antsy, and they will reach on you a lot. So, right here. So, all right, clearly it didn't work. We're going to set this back up. Vince Carter. This is my favorite part of this play, though. Again, easy mid-range shot. He's going to block that, though. That's a good. That's just good defense on my opponent's part. Most of the time, when people don't play on ball in that situation, they will back up because they'll think that like you're going to cut to the rim, and that is an easy pull-up. So, I'm going to credit my opponent there. That was just good defense. All right, so another good play you guys can run is floppy. One of the most generic plays that you can run, but this is very solid. Vince Carter coming around another screen. All right, so he cuts that off. Well, look, here comes Wes Unseld again. He's going to cut to the paint. 
Say that play doesn't work. This is when you do just want to go slow and take it to the post. Obviously, 2K has their momentum things where I'm going to get stripped on plays like that and I'm going to get the ball knocked away and just stupid things like that. But it is what it is. We're going to play great defense. He's going to score right there. But I got to credit my opponent. He is playing great defense and he is adapting very well to these plays. Um, and I'm actually glad because playing um, or playing up against somebody that knows what they're doing is actually what I was kind of hoping. I wasn't hoping to match with an off-baller because if you do match up with somebody that knows what they're doing, it's hard. So right there, he's going to play great defense again. He doesn't fall for the up and under. I'm going to keep that in mind because now next time, he's not going to jump. So I'm going to go up with that fade. That's an easy post fade the next time around. We're going to switch on these screens right here. Magic coming over for the bailout bucket. That was actually going to be an and one, and Hakeem just hit it out the rim. So I don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, so you guys see some of these plays. I'm going to show you guys a couple more in the playbooks that I do in this playbook that I do really enjoy running. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard when the comeback shit starts hitting you because it is pretty tough to uh, fight up against. But quick 32 horns. Again, another one of my favorite plays here. Um, oh, I don't know if we were running it or not. No, are we? I'm very confused. Okay, no, we stopped running it. I was going to run it. But look, this is where, again, you just kind of want to adapt, run some pick and rolls, pick and fades. A lot of people don't see that coming. So one thing you do want to do as well, in the beginning of this game, I noticed he didn't run, he didn't do any defensive settings, right? So when you don't do defensive settings, the defense is very unreliable to do anything predictable. Now, when I say that, they're not going to react the way that you kind of want them to. We're just going to reach here. Look at that. That's just 2K being stupid. I, I would I would get frustrated and reach too, my friend. So he didn't do any settings. I'm actually going to switch this to a four out one in. Now, in doing that, we're actually going to run some pick and rolls and pick and fades here. This is going to definitely improve my offense. I mean, he's just going to leave me open for three a lot. Look, we're just going to set it back up, run this pick and fade again. Again, he doesn't do settings. Hakeem being left wide open at the top of the key. A few of you guys had concerns and you were like, oh, it's play with friends. You know, the defense is different. In the last episode, I did do that because, like, I was waiting to go 12-0 for, like, West Unsell. But you guys can see it works just as well in uh, My Team Unlimited. Like, when you're just going up against somebody that doesn't do these settings, a lot of times they don't know how to react. And like I said, the computer is very like unreliable with what they're going to do. So I'm going to again, when you're on offense and people are pressing you and stuff, you just really do want to just slow the game down. It really like, because when people press you, they try to speed it up. Like right here, if you just hold L2, that is a huge thing. If somebody's spamming on you a lot, if you just L2 them to death, they won't know what to do because they're trying to get these easy steals from you and it doesn't work. So again, we're going to run a pick and fade right here. He's going to start off balling me. That's actually pretty good because right here, we're going to mix them up easy 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 mid-range again you see i'm not even really trying this game and this is what i'm saying if you just kind of slow the game down and slow the tempo down a little bit it throws people off a lot now if i was to actually try on defense this kid would easily be gone by now i'm actually convinced of that let's go dr j again patience take the easy mid-range shot now you're gonna miss that shot a lot because it's 2k however if you just be patient enough and you're playing against the right kid people will just fall apart playing slow taking smart shots it really makes people mad let's go step it right back easy pick and fade right there dude this is why bro like i hate when 2k does this shit for real i told y'all they're in like full drag effect like i can't i can't even play defense bro my players are just not doing what i want them to do like this is this is what i hate man truthfully like this is the shit that just really pisses me off with this game because like I had a good thing going. Like, we were showing everything that I needed to be done. Like, Dr. J, wide open. We're going to brick that, though. Like, we just can't score, man. Brandon Roy, wide open. Thank you. Finally getting a jumper to fall. Honestly, this is on me. I should have called a timeout a long time ago. If you find that your offense is struggling, just call a timeout and reset the game. Um, and then switch up your offense. So, like, seriously, like, this freelance isn't working really right now. Chris stops, dude. Like, we just can't play defense this quarter. Like, that's what's really the problem. Like, he, like, that's my point. He hasn't missed. He actually has not missed his second quarter. So, like, right here, I kind of see that he's not, like, he knows what he's doing with his freelance. So, we're just going to set it back up with some pick and rolls and stuff like that. Pick and fades. We should be able to shoot that right over magic. Easy shots right there. Again, just if, if your opponent's kind of catching on to this whole, like, freelance thing. I saw that pass all day. Just switch it up. Brandon Roy, wide open. Let's go. There we go. Get that lead right back. So easy pick and fade again. And then we got an easy dunk at the rim. That's what I'm saying. If you just switch it up, a lot of the times people don't really know what to do. Kristaps does have takeover now. And the thing is with takeover, guys, this is going to be another, like, big thing to your offense. So Kristaps has sharp takeover, which means his catch-and-shoot jumper is probably not going to miss for at least a little bit. So that's what you want to take advantage of. We have a really nice eight-point lead right now, right? 
this is where I normally break away and make people rage quit in a lot of games is because when people get takeover, I start reading their defenses better. I start pissing them off a little bit more. And, yeah, like right there, we got a red contest on that. That's a perfect defense from the team. We just threw it away, though. I hate that, bro. I hate how people just stand there and, like, what I hate about it is, like, your players will walk in front of them. Like, when you go to pass it to them, they'll walk – or not in front of them. They'll walk behind them, so it's always a turnover, which – it is what it is. I'm not really too worried because, like, I just did it to him a couple times. So, like I said, you want to take advantage of Chris Stops' takeovers. So, like, right here, we're going to drive and just kick it back to him. Like I said, especially because he... Damn, 2K. Like, that's normally, like, never a miss. So, I feel a little robbed. I'm not going to lie. But that's perfect defense right there. I kind of baited him in taking that shot. Um, He's going to hit that, too. All right. No, there we go. At least, at least they're staying consistent. Like, I did not expect to miss that. Like, I literally was just talking about how Chris Stops ain't going to miss those. There you go. But he ain't missing that one. That's an easy mid-range right there. So we'll focus on the mid-range shot a little bit better. Um, but like I said, when somebody has takeover, especially sharp takeover, take the catch-and-shoot jumper. I don't even care if it's lightly contested. Take it. Trust me. It's a lot better than you think. Like, it's a lot better than you think. Perfect defense right there, closing out on that. So, like, right here. Chris Epps doesn't have his takeover anymore. So I'm going to slow the game down. I'm going to call for Magic. Tell him to come here. Right? Play smart. Don't get stripped. Get to the paint. I don't even know what that pass was. But, like, right here. Again, my offense is struggling, so we're going to take this into the post. Easy post fade for Hakeem. And, again, get to the post. It's a lot more important than you think. Right here, I'm going to call in a play. I called the uh, the one for Vince Carter here. I haven't ran it in a little bit, so it's going to mix him up. Look, wide open three. Like I said, I was calling it too much before. So his players and him were adapting to the play. But right there, he didn't see it coming. We ended up getting that wide open three. So we have a nice 13-point lead going into the fourth quarter. And, again, I'm not even trying this game. Like, I'm more trying to explain what I'm doing rather than focus on what I'm doing. Um, and, yeah, like, so if people have any concerns, you know, watching this video and you guys are like, well, what about off-balling and stuff? I told you. In the last video, I go a little bit more in-depth because I, I was playing in a friendly game and I had my friend actually off-ball me to uh, show you guys, like, what to do. And when somebody is off-balling you, the best thing to do is run that Warriors freelance. They get so mixed up, it's not even funny. So, honestly, like like I said, quick 21, floppy. I'm going to try to run this again. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Um, I actually do want to kind of run it this time because it is a very nice play to run. Um, there we go. Perfectly. So, like I said, that it gets you a lot of corner threes. And that really works when, like, if you're going to cheese and you're going to have, like, Dr. J at point or something like that. It works really well because it's fast release. I'm actually surprised Magic, like, was able to green that because normally, like, you get a bad release or something like that with Magic. That's why I normally do it more with Brandon Roy. But, again, we're going to slow it down on the break. I could have hit Scottie Pippen right there very easily. Um, but, like I said, you guys see, like, these lines on the court? Um, this is just the Warriors freelance. They just run plays by themselves. And, like, we're going to get wide open for a mid-range shot right there. Warriors freelance is very key in running a very successful offense because your players continuously move. And they set screens. The only downside is you get a lot of legal screens. So if you're willing to work past that, it's probably the best offense you can run. All right, so the last little bit I'm going to show you here. We're going to switch this back to a four out one in. This is what my favorite thing, that, well, one of my favorite things to do is. So that one didn't work. Obviously, we're going to set this back up. And if you just drive in, if you call that screen to drag somebody out to come set that screen and you hit them with a quick behind the back, even when people are off-balling you, that will get you a free dunk at the rim like 99% of the time. This is the final little bit here. Hakeem, oh, I thought he had post takeover. Feels bad, dude. Right here, though, we're going to get him back in the post, and we're just going to hit a nice little post fade again. Once you get takeover on your big men, guys, I'm telling you, especially if it is post takeover, just go into the post. Unless these threes are consistently dropping for you, go into the post. So I hope this video did help you guys out a lot. I mean, you guys could see, like, I wasn't even trying this game. We did get a nice 20-point lead by simply just focusing on our offense here. Um, so, again... Warriors freelance best freelance that you can run. I know four out one in does work a lot as well. Um, you can do that. Um, what is it? Four, like I said, the four out one in works. Going in the post is by far one of my favorite things to do. Like you guys know Mac, who Max Sauce is. Every time I play him, he always says like on his streams and stuff. Like when I go to the post, he'll be like, "Oh, Bio's gonna get his in the post." Like I just like going into the post because it's a very efficient way to score. Maybe not so much in this game. Like I went to the post more like last year. Because it was a little bit better last year. But either way, this is a very like reliable source of offense is dipping into the post and getting these easy post fades. I don't really recommend doing post hooks. They don't really ever work. You're most like, likely going to get blocked or get a heavily or whatever. 
But again, if you just do this enough, look, he's going to jump easy up and under. I mean, 2K is just 2K at that point. But, like, that's an easy up and under. Mix it up as well because you will throw people off. But I really hope these tips did help you guys. And I hope you guys' his offense is, does do improve. I mean, um, and, yeah, I'm going to show this kid some sportsmanship. And I will see you guys at the end to show you guys, like, the team stats and stuff like that. All right, guys. So this is the final, like, team comparison and stuff like that. We shot 68% this game. We shot 10 of 19 from three, two of two from the line. I mean, you guys can see it. My offense was just really efficient this game. Um, we actually never we were losing in this game, which is pretty nice, honestly. And, like, you guys can see it. Like, look at the time of possessions between me and him. When you slow the game down, it throws people off so much. You can generally tell by people's play style, like, the minute the game starts of how they're going to play. And if you can tell they're playing fast, slow the game down, and it throws them off so much. Trust me. Like... Look at like the box score here. Hakeem seven to nine. Kristaps seven to ten. I still can't believe he missed that shot. That was crazy. But Vince, very efficient. Magic only missed one shot. Brandon Roy only missed one shot. I mean, Scotty didn't miss. Wes Unseld missed one shot. Um, Dr. J was 0 2, but whatever. I think I took two like really bad shots at him. But you guys can see, very efficient offense. And like I said, the best way to do it is just run the Warriors freelance, run those plays, read what the plays are doing. I recommend turning on like the uh, play vision so you can see like everything that's going on. That is like by far like the best thing I think you could do. Um, and yeah, so like I said, I hope these tips do help you guys. Be sure to smash that like button if they do. Like I said, 100 likes is the goal. You guys killed it every single time, so I know you guys are going to do it again. I'm still not over the last video getting 600 likes. Like You guys are crazy. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. We just hit 8,000 subs two days ago, and we are already at 8.5. Like You guys are literally nuts. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to smash that like button. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.